that the guys would do Salto. So they're, they're taking that pendulum all the way around to get that filament of the pendulum going completely the whole distance. And then to reverse the pendulum the other way, we do this drill jaggedin. So here you try and get your back foot to go above your head. So that's reversing the pendulum again the other way back. So, so quite often I'll see beginners jumping and they always land on their back on the pit. They'll do a vault, get upside down, land on their back on the pit. And they can't stop themselves from under swinging. So their hips come under all the time and they can't do this reverse pendulum or reverse swing. So it's very important that you teach young vaulters how to do a jaggedin where they're going, watch this again one more time. They're going hands, then chest, and then pulling the leg back. Hands, chest, pulling the leg back. Yeah. So that's making the pole move forward. It's a very good uh, safety thing to do as well when an athlete's trying a new pole for the first time or run up in training or competition for the first time. It's always best to keep your feet under your body so if something doesn't go right, then you're going to land on your feet instead of your head. So that's why it's important that you can control that swing. Here's a great photo of Eliza uh, McCartney here. This was at the um, <clears throat> European Juniors last year. And you can see she's got hands, chest, this huge C position that she's holding, driving her chest forward. She's not kicked and she's not engaged her arms. You can see her armpit is open, so she's not closing at all her shoulders again. And you know, for me, if I want a vaulter to take a bigger grip on a bigger pole, then I'm going to tell them that they need to drive longer. So if you can't hold this phase, it's not possible that you can drive longer to move the pole more. So, as we move through now, what we do after this kick drill and to start to engage the arms, we do the jump through 180 degrees. So we call these drills rollies. So we do it with a soft pole and try and go through the whole 180 degrees of the jump. This was a great demonstration by Thomas. But we're trying to move the pole through the back of the box in line with the pole and do the jump through 180 degrees. So I'm trying to get in line with the pole here, feet to the back of the pit. Pole is probably a little bit stiff there, but we try and get a really big bend and keep rolling all the way through. Um, so here you can see that he's engaged the arms now. So it's hands, chest, kick, and then arms to roll the pole forward. So the next step now to try and get closer to a jump is a kick. So we're going to do the jump, the vault now through 90 degrees. So we put a bar up at about five and a half meters, and then we try to kick into a more vertical position, hold that then to landing. So you can see it's becoming closer now to what we would consider to be a normal jump. And then the third phase, or the last phase, is the normal jump then just from eight steps. So you can see the sequence there of